What's up guys? So today is an awesome day. I just went ahead and spent over $2,000 on orders and stuff. So I thought I would go ahead and go over what I just bought with you guys. So the first thing on my list is this right here. This is a 32 inch curved gaming monitor. It's 144 hertz, 2,560 times 144. It is G-Sync, FreeSync, has three HDMI ports, and did I mention it's curved? Oh yeah, so we bought this bad boy today. Hopefully this right here is going to look great on my wall. It will replace my LG TV that I use for gaming. I actually game on a, on a TV screen that I like, um, but now I got something that is more uh, tailored to gaming. Um, yeah, it was 320 bucks, but you know what? It's going to make one hell of a great video and review. So, I bought computers. Y'all know this. And enable for us to put it in a case, I bought this case. I spent 180 bucks on it. That's okay. It is the Cougar Panzer MG Max case. Um, it is, it's beautiful. With that carbon fiber on it and that glass. Oh, that thing is gorgeous gorgeous and we're gonna water cool the shit out of it man i'm so excited can y'all tell how excited i am in my voice i am so excited don't ask how i got the money i ain't telling you but let's see here let's see here let's see here i went over that i went over that okay yeah let's talk about the graph uh let's talk about the motherboard that we're going to use it's the msi z490 that's right we're going 10th generation on this bitch that's right so I went ahead and bought a 10th generation i7, which I'll show you guys next. But this is the motherboard that I went with. Look how sexy that thing is. Look at it. Oh my God, is it sexy. Oh, it's so beautiful. Look at it, guys. Oh, can you, are you jealous yet? Because I am. But anyway, I went ahead and bought that. That was a kind of an expensive, that was 270 bucks spent. But you know what? We're going to have a badass computer here. About a $2,000 computer once it's all said and done. Um, this is the motherboard that we'll be using though. It's the uh, carbon, uh, gaming carbon Wi-Fi motherboard. It is a, uh, what do you call it, an MSI board, which is uh, not one of my first, but we, we'll see how it goes. You know, we'll do a review on this as well. All right, and then since we talked about that, let's talk about the CPU. Here's the CPU that I bought. It is an 8-core CPU. It's an i7-1070, 4.8 gigahertz. It is a 10-series core i7 chip, so we are going current generation. Might as well future-proof it, right? Um, this right here was about 300 bucks as well. Uh, eight cores, 16 threads, 4.8 gigahertz. What else is there to say? It's a 400 series chipset. I'm, I'm so happy about it. So happy. I, look at that. You purchased this item today. Yes, I did. I purchased it and I'm excited. Oh, yeah. And then check this out. This is cool. This is the RX 550 XT 8GB graphics card. Now, this graphics card is actually going to go in my current build, the Gamma build. And then you're wondering, well, what graphics card are you going to run in your new build? Well, I wanted to save myself some money, and I already have a 1070 8 gig card. So I want to use that one, but I bought a water block to go on it. But this is the graphics card right here that I just bought for my newer, for my older computer. Um, it's it's badass. It's badass. Look at the RGB on it. I can't wait to hook this sucker up. And I'll also do a review on this as well for you guys. Uh, let's see here. Let's back out real quick. Um, here it is. Here's the water block that I bought. You, as you can see right there, it's for a 1060, a 1070, and a 1080 full coverage. Um, hopefully, that is what my graphics card looks like down to every little pin layout. So hopefully it will fit. If not, then I'll just have to uh, buy another one, I guess. But, yep, this is the water block that I got for my 1070. Because, like I said, we're going to water cool this new computer. And, of course, you know, um, when I get paid again, I'll buy, like, the water fittings and the stuff like that. 
you know, the, the water blocks and all that kind of crap. And then, of course, we're going to run two of these. This is a uh, 2 times 8 of DDR4 at 3200 megahertz. Um, I bought two of these. So we're going to run 32 gig kits. So we got four 8 gig sticks at 3200 megahertz. Now, you're thinking, you know, 3200, 3200 megahertz, that's kind of slow. Well, actually, I was looking at the rating for that motherboard. And that's the highest as, as, as it will handle is 3200 megahertz, which is fine with me. That's still plenty fast, plenty fast. Let me repeat that one more time. And I'm, I'm truly not worried about it. Man, this, these look cool. Talk about RGB, the bling bling. Man, I am just so excited. But that's the RAM. We'll talk about that when that shows up too. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, I bought my, of course I had to buy my wife something and she wanted this Jeffree Star palette that was 84 bucks. So I bought her that. Um, let's see here. Payment revised. Oh, I forgot to revise that. That's my fault. Let me go ahead and revise that now. Good. All right. So there it is. The payment was just revised on these items. Um, a new ring, some Primo Chill Cooler, and then a 24-pin jump back up real quick. Um, I showed you guys the case. All right, so let's talk about the next item. That's the power supply that I bought. This is a tough 750-watt, 80-plus bronze, no, 80-plus gold, yep, fully modular power supply. So I went, now I could have gone one higher and went to platinum, but what, what else do I need? It's 80 plus gold rating. It's 750 watts, which is more than enough than I'll probably ever need. And then on top of that, it's fully modular. Those are three check mark hit features right on it and that I need it. And that's what I got. I actually owned one of these power supplies before. Uh, it was a great power supply. I wish I never sold it. But you know what? I got a new one and I'm not worried about it. But yeah, that's, we'll do a review on this one as well. Man, I got so many videos coming up that are all computer related, guys. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. And of course, you know, to go with the power supply, you need sleeve extensions. Yay. And I went with black, blue, and like a light gray kind of effect. I thought that that would look cool versus what I was going to do. So we're definitely going to do sleeve extensions. Duh. Got to have those. You know what I mean? gotta have those and then I think that's I think that's everything I got so far that was uh, a little over two thousand dollars spent let's see here thermal take power supply I got the cables I got the case the CPU um, of course I bought thermal take ring fans because I only like the best I bought six of these. These are the thermal tank ring. I already own a couple of these, but I needed a few more of them to complete the, the case. I am very impressed with these fans. These are high static pressure fans, meaning that they will work great in a radiator or up against a CPU block. Um, but they move a lot of air and they last a long time. Even though you're going to pay about 20 bucks a fan, um, I mean, you get what you paid for, you know. I love these fans. They're great fans. And so I bought those. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yes. And then, of course, I needed a new gaming mic. So I went ahead and got the Exus Rogue Strix Magnus USB condenser gaming microphone with Aurora LED, with a little Aurora RGB lighting. So this ought to be interesting, too. We're going to do a review on this one as well whenever this shows up in the mail. But yeah. So those are the quick items that I bought. Um, what do you guys think? You think I you think I spent the money well um, on it? Got a new gaming monitor, motherboard, CPU, RAM, graphics card, water block, memory, case. Uh, I mean, I think I did a good job on it. Now, I still need a couple more key components. This isn't enough to build a water block but or a computer, but... It'll get my foot in the door, and then when I get a couple more paychecks in, I'll um, I'll order the the let's see here. I need the CPU block. I need a couple more fittings, and I need a reservoir pump combo, which I have one, 
but I don't know if I want to use that one. I don't think it will quite match the build theme I'm going for because it has a lot of chrome built into it. But that's that's it. I just wanted to go over this with you guys, show you all a couple of things. I hope you guys liked it. Please leave me a like and subscribe to my channel. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.